Here we go. Beautiful. Get on that minecart track. Stay away from the crazy mobs. <gasps> no! No, 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 no. I'm surrounded. I'm surrounded and I'm frozen. No! <laughs> How's it going, crew? This is Happy Days and welcome back to our expert super modded gunslinger let's play. And as you can see, guys, we are straight into the action today, taking on the Krabulon boss here in the underground mushroom biome. And oh my goodness, it's already shooting stuff like crazy everywhere. And you might notice in my inventory, oh my gosh, it's doing a lot of damage. Buffs on happy, buffs on, oh my goodness, crazy, crazy crab mushroom thing. Woo! If you notice in my inventory, oh, what's with all these things? Dodge roll, dodge roll. We need to dodge roll to win, guys. Woo! No, there's so many mushrooms. If you notice in my inventory, I'm trying to talk mushroom crab. I've made some new guns. I made the harpy pelter because the blacksmith NPC moved into our base, which is pretty cool indeed. I'm gonna try some firestorm cannon. Light this thing on fire. There we go. You're gonna burn, Crab. You're gonna burn. Oh my gosh, there's some hearts for happy and- <gasps> No! Why is the fire so- It sets everything on fire! Crazy thing. Oh my gosh. I'm getting low on health, guys. No, it's getting low, but I'm getting low too. Woo okay, just move back, Happy. It's going to be okay. The flames are starting. No, we both died at the same time. Oh, not in the intro. Woo okay, we beat the boss, but we also died at the same time. Oh, no, no. What are you doing, Happy? What are you doing? Okay, let's kill this thing. Get out of here, Bat, you crazy thing. No. Okay, we got our treasure bag. <gasps> nice. Okay, we got some lore thingies, and I got a random potion lying on the ground there. And okay, are you ready now? Apparently, there's a gun called Fungicide that we can get. Hope, hope we get it, guys. Are you ready? Three, two, one, boom! <gasps> Did we get it? We got fungal clamp. I got a, a hyphy rod. Oh, it like it makes little mushroom jellyfish come around. That's kind of cool. And I got my my seal claws. That's kind of oh, they are awesome. It's like fetid bagnard. But no guns, so we're gonna have to take out another crab. So, oh my goodness. So, I will speed. Oh, no, no, no! It's so big! Oh, so if you can tell, and I'm putting their name on the screen now, uh, I think it was Nazira, Nazira, it was something like that. They let me know on my other channel. Uh, we just put a new video up. Come and check it out. I'll put the card on the screen now. Uh, they let me know, Nazira, that uh, prefixes for enemies is back. And I was just like instantly like, oh, this is amazing. <laughs> it's one of my favorite mods ever. Apparently it got updated a few days ago. So we're back to the craziness that is prefixes for enemies and life is good again, guys. And it means crazy stuff. Like John Krabby. No, happy. No, 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 no. Don't die. Don't die. Come on, Krabby, please. No, Krabby. No, no, no. <laughs> Krabby. But I am so happy about that. And thank you so much for letting me know. And guys, if you ever know some cool stuff, is happening in the community, by all means, let me know in the comments. I would really appreciate it. Oh, no! No! Happy! It has 13 hit points. Come on. Oh! No! No! No more giant crabs. Oh, my goodness. We'll have to go back later and try and win ourselves the gun that comes from the crab. But a few of you have been giving me really good comments and helpful tips and all that good stuff. And a few of you were saying, because I've accidentally been setting fire to my base, uh, that... Oh, no! I still haven't... Oh, my God. I can't remember to do the... Oh, vein miner don't. I always forget to save list it. I can't remember the button, but hey, it's all good. Okay, we're destroying half our snow biome. It's all under control, people. But a few people were telling me that if I can find a snowball cannon, apparently that can stop you from, like, destroying your base. It puts the fires out. So I think I... Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> Fireball attack. Don't you hadouken me. No, 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 no. Let's just stay up here. Stay away from me. Don't you... No, 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 it's all under control. So if I can find a snowball cannon, and if I can get away from this thing, get away from me. Oh my gosh, okay, let's take this out. Beautiful, beautiful, stop bouncing around. Okay, let's see in here. So if I can find a snowball cannon. Oh, I'm laughing, so much randomness. Ooh, okay, if we can find a nice snowball cannon, I should be able to put out fires when I start them, because I'm sure there's going to be more fires. It's going to happen. And uh, this might be a nice way to save our base and our NPCs. Oh, goodness, no, no, I got hit by a trappy. Okay, let's just go down here. It's all under control. There's a unicorn. There's some hearts for happy. That will save me. Let's get the unicorns. Are they amethyst? Oh, my gosh. Okay, let's get those. Beautiful. We've got an extractinator. Not quite what I'm after, but we'll keep looking. We'll take an anvil. Why not? And we'll keep exploring. So that would help. Another thing that's come up a bit in the comments, a few people were asking me about Revengeance mode, if I'd like to play that in this playthrough. And I'm kind of leading towards, yes, I think Gunslinger is a very strong character type. Uh, so maybe the extra difficulty would help 
quite a bit. Okay, there's just a bit of lead here. I'll pick up a little bit of it. Although, with the extra NPCs, you can just buy a lot of the ores from the minor NPCs. That's No, I did it again. I did it again. <laughs> oh, goodness. So, anyway, guys, I'll put a voting card on screen for you. And, ooh, half a happy. Very nice. Uh, I'll put a voting card on screen. Let me know if you'd like us to play uh, Revengeance mode, and I'll look at the voting. Uh, if it does win, I'll enable it from the next episode. So that'll be kind of cool. All right, let's use our nice life crystal. Very good. So our next boss is the Brain of Cthulhu. So I thought we'd have a little look around here, see if we can find some powered up stuff, and then we'll take on that boss. I should be able to fight it. We've got a few auto fire guns, so that's kind of cool. Here we go. Beautiful. Get on that minecart track. Stay away from the crazy mobs. <gasps> no! No, 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 no. I'm surrounded. I'm surrounded and I'm frozen. No! <laughs> crazy mobs! <laughs> Well, 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 what do we have here? A little goblin, all tied up, ready to be rescued, and yes, I just got brutally murdered by a bunch of enemies, but maybe things will be okay now. Thank you for freeing me, human. I was tied up and left here by the other goblins. You could say we didn't get along well, you think? Oh my gosh. So we are going to need a tinkerer's workshop, and that's kind of cool because it turns out I might be able to craft. Oh, what happened? Spring. Year one, day one. Oh, spring is here. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. Okay, that's kind of cool. So let's go back to the shop. Did I buy the boots? Okay, let's get the boots. Oh, do I not have enough money? 15 gold? What? No. Primitive repair kit. Goblin thingies. I don't probably have enough to sell. I've got a claw. I've got... No, I can't afford it. Oh, well, I've got the Tinkerer's Workshop. That's probably the most important thing for now. So that's kind of awesome. So let's go back to base and see the spring. Uh, and we should be able to do a bit of crafting, guys. Ah, uh, it's a nice new day and spring is here. And as you can see, guys, I have been busy building up Gracie's base some more after the fire incident in our last episode. And we're going to need a few things at the moment. I'm going to need to get my flare gun. You can see I've put a bunch of armor and weapon racks. I finished this side of Gracie's base. We're also going to need our flintlock pistol. And uh, we're going to do a little bit of crafting. So I've gathered some like marble and granite and all that good stuff. I think there's something I can make called the Opal Striker. So we're going to make that. There was also another gun called the Marnite Rifle Spear, which is pretty cool. And I believe if I make snowballs, let's get these quickly, I should be able to craft a snowman cannon. And that's what we needed the Goblin Tinkerer for. So if we have a look in here. Yes, beautiful. Snowball kit. Did I call it the snowman cannon? No, it's damaged, but that's all right because we do have the Tinkerer. So I should be able to reforge. So let's see. Oh, this is kind of like a nice rifle gun. That's pretty good. Opal Striker. Oh, that's kind of nice as well. That's going to help against Brain of Cthulhu. And now we have this crazy goblin. We should be able to do a little bit of reforging. So let's see if we can get a modifier that's not so terrible. Deadly. That looks kind of cool. The other one's annoying. Oh my gosh, what's all these bad modifiers? Okay, what's that? Ruthless. That'll do. So we need to make our way back to the Crimson. And we're going to do a bit of a boss fight. Let's go. All right, guys. Here we are in the Corruption. <laughs> no, it's not the Corruption. Happy it's a Crimson. Oh my gosh, you can tell I normally have corruption wheels, huh? So, as you can see, guys, I've made a nice arena for Gracie to move around in. And uh, if you remember, we smashed one of the hearts down there. And as I was setting up this area, I noticed there was two hearts and a goldfish. Uh, side by sorry, goldfish. Uh, there's two hearts side by side here. So, let's get our bombs out and let's throw a few down here so I can collect the first treasure uh, before the battle starts. And there's a random potion. Okay, always fun. And we got another Undertaker. That is fine. Let's throw our buffs on and what I'm going to do is throw the bombs, uh, but I need to get straight out of here because, oh my gosh, yeah, that'd be right. I was going to say the boss like instantly spawns, so it's a little bit scary now. What we need to do is try and stay away from these crazy eyeballs and, oh my gosh, what weapon's going to be the best here? Oh my gosh, stay away from me. Stay away. <laughs> uh, maybe, oh, I hate when it does that. Oh my gosh. And I think because... Because it, like, inflicts confusion on you, like, if it teleports onto you, it's really bad news. Oh my gosh, okay, I just managed to avoid that. Now, this is probably going to be a terrible idea, but I'm going to use my Firestorm Cannon, just because it probably will settle the eyeballs on fire, which might actually help out quite a bit here. I'm going to throw a heal on early. Um, oh my gosh, I'm getting, like, hit by stuff. Okay, here we go. Let's get some hits in. Where is the brain? Where are the eyeballs? Ah! It's really hard in overhaul. Because if you get uh, set on fire, your character actually moves by itself, which is a little bit annoying. So I might have to try and get some fire invulnerability stuff. Now, is there still an eyeball somewhere? Okay, here it is. 
Beautiful, beautiful. All right, let's get some hits in here. Okay, is it? It's spawning more eyeballs. What on earth? <gasps> no, and I'm on fire. No, I'm on fire and stuff is going everywhere. Oh my gosh, this is so hard. <gasps> Oh my goodness, that brain is out of control, people. Oh my gosh, it appears that Overhaul has actually made some adjustments to some of the vanilla bosses because normally it doesn't spawn eyeballs in its second form and it seemed very strong indeed. So we're going to need to do a little bit of powering up now. A quick announcement here. I don't know if you guys have tried to add a bunch of mods into your Terraria world before, but it appears that Overhaul has broken a few things in Gracie's world. Most importantly, the ocean so what I've had to do is for this playthrough I don't want to stop it because I'm having a lot of fun but I've had to make a second world for the oceans because the aquatic depths and the abyss have not generated properly uh, so I turned overhaul off and made a new world and I think that's going to work so let me know in the comments if you've had crazy stuff like that happen when you've tried to put way too many mods into a world it is kind of fun but it does get a bit crazy sometimes anyway I thought we'll fight jellyfish uh, the queen jellyfish she has a gun that we can get so three two one boom let's do this people yeah apparently she has a pretty cool shotgun that you can get and hello where is this boss I see a little jellyfish but where is the big no stop sending your little no there we go Ooh, here it comes um, yeah so apparently yeah she's got a really good shotgun called the blunderbuss I think it's called uh, so that is gonna be pretty bright and nice now if you remember with this boss guys it starts out okay, and it does get a bit crazy as the fight goes on. Looks like my Opal Strike is going to be pretty nice here. There we go. We'll get our buffs on. Nice, nice. We'll get some damage in. There we go. Take that jellyfish. And, uh, yeah, so this fight is going to be a bit crazy. As it continues, oh, it looks like a giant one spawned. Oh, my gosh. Now, one thing I meant to talk to you guys about is a few people have been asking in the comments if I'm going to do my two series. You know how I normally alternate... Uh, I go like one series one day, one series the next day, and uh, I haven't done that lately, and a few people have asked me to bring it back, so uh, let me know. I won't do voting because we're already voting on uh, Revengeance mode, but start to give me your thoughts in the comments. Oh no, here come the bubbles, here come the bubbles, not the bubbles. Uh, let me know in the comments if you'd like us to do a second series. I'll probably let Gracie get to hard mode first, and then we would start it, but we're pretty close to hard mode now, so... Oh my gosh, what's with all the bubbles? Ah! No! Oh, I think it's one of the jellyfish. Alright. Firestorm Cannon. We need to get rid of some of these jellyfish. I'm being under siege by bubbles. Okay. Did I get it? Did I get the one shooting all the bubbles? Stop shooting bubbles at me! This is out of control. But yeah, let me know your thoughts on that, guys, in the comments. Oh, no, it's this thingy. Oh my gosh. No, not the arms again. No. I remember from last time. You need to grapple on. You stay away from me, you crazy jellyfish. Ooh. No, 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 no. Oh my gosh. Oh no. Am I going to die? Oh. No, I probably shouldn't run away from the ocean. That would probably be bad. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's get our Opal Striker back out. More damage. All right, more Firestorm Cannon. Where's she gone? Is she there? I'm seeing lots of bubble jellyfish. Oh, goodness. I need to lock my inventory bar as well. Okay, how long have we healed? 11 seconds. Where's she gone? There you are. No, don't you shoot that bubble at me. All right, let's just keep getting some fire damage in here. I need to manage all these jellyfish. They're out of control. Ooh, how am I going to get past her? <gasps> no, she's doing the thingy again. Okay, let's get rid of these ones. Beautiful. Oh, I can heal. Nice. Okay, it doesn't seem to be drawing. Oh, no. Yeah, walk near it, Happy. That's a great idea. Oh, quick. Can I run underneath? Yeah, beautiful. Oh, goodness. Let's get some snowballs into her. There we go. She's down to 1,300. We're getting close. Oh, my gosh. Ooh. All right. Opal Striker might be nice. That does a fair bit of direct damage. And I need to get rid of these other jellyfish. Don't shoot bubbles. Don't shoot bubbles at me. Get out of here. Ah. Okay, I'm just going to ignore them. <gasps> no, 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 no. It's down to 900, guys. Woo we should be all right. We just need to stay back get some damage. All right. Maybe I can use the bubble to jump her. No, it didn't work. I was going to try and jump over her with a bubble. Okay, here we go. Here we go. I think she's getting low. Should we... Well, we should, can we finish her off? She's down to 400. Okay, let's do lots of firestorms into her. 300. Beautiful. Let's use some of our Marnite Spear. Opal Striker. Yes, we did it. Oh my gosh. Woo oh, and we get Dubman Sam. That is awesome. Oh my gosh. We got low a few times there. That was a little bit crazy. And we have Nolan. Oh my gosh, an air tank? 
Okay, we got an emergency air tank. And we can buy some items here. I don't think I don't I don't think I've got a fishing pole, but I also don't have any money, so that's a bit sad. But we do have treasure bag, guys. Let's open that up. Fingers crossed in their community for the gun. Are you ready? Three, two, one, boom! Oh my gosh, I didn't get it! I got a jelly pond wand, which oh that shoots little bubbles, and I have no mana for it. Oh my gosh, so we're gonna have to find some more of it. But uh, looking at the time, guys, we will start to wrap that up there for today. Hope you're enjoying our adventure. Smash the like button, subscribe, and yeah, let me know. I've asked you a few questions in this episode, so let me know how you feel about Revengeance. Let me know how you feel about the second series, and uh, we'll take it all from there, guys. And here's the most important part, as always. You'll stay happy, and I'll see you soon. This is Happy Days, signing out. See ya!